Saturation in a market has always been a global concern. Nowadays, you may think that if a market has a lot of competition, then it is not worth getting into it. However, today I'm here to challenge this belief with valid arguments. I have been a game developer and game dev content creator for the past 4 years and I'm working in Voodoo, one of the top mobile game companies as an external studio. What I tell you in this video, not only is it based on what I believe, but also in what Voodoo says. And because the wide experience they have as one of the best companies, they have the key here. So now, let's start. Why? Because they, they know that there is a lot of money in it, that you can work remotely, you can work for other companies that maybe aren't where you are, that you can have your own schedule, etc, etc. So the main point here is that people they aren't stupid and know what the advantages are about working in this area and that's the reason why there is a saturation in the market also as there are always more companies more game released etc even this area is even more noticed by people that it's starting to study something and maybe they don't have a really accurate idea of what they want to do so they just try game development because they know that they can actually find a job quite easily and quickly maybe not super easily and quickly but the point is that they can find a job much more quicker than if it if they wanted to uh, to study a complete career of like five six years because in game development as you probably know maybe by just studying one two years in different courses for example you can have a job so if we add that there are people already know that there are a lot of uh, advantages if you are a game developer and also that every every day there is a uh, more uh, showcases literally everywhere in every game in every company so there we have the saturated market in addition to this it's quite important to consider where the saturation is i mean which things does it affect so here is more like a global concern because there is a, a saturation both in game developers and also in the products that they sell so in this case in this case games because maybe sometimes in some specific areas there are there are a lot of people that actually are involved in those areas but maybe the products that they sell aren't like super saturated but in this case, in game development, as you probably know, there are a lot of people working on this and also there are a bunch of services or games that are being sold. Just go to literally any store page and look there for the most recent games. You will realize that thousands of games are released on a daily basis. So it's quite uh, difficult to actually overcome that situation if, you if you're starting from scratch and you want to actually stand out from the crowd. So now comes the important thing, what can you do now that you already have the global context of the situation, what can you do in order to overcome this situation? First of all, we have to break down the myth that where there is competition, it's impossible to get into it. That's completely false, because of course if there is competition, it means that uh, you will actually have to stand out from your competitors in order to actually start getting some traction on it. And of course it's gonna be more difficult than if there were literally no competition. But the key point here is to try to break down that mental myth that oh there is a lot of people on this area I won't be able to get a job or to sell my product or services as a game developer. That's completely false. Why? Because people and services and products that are sold, they are sold because they are different from the competitors. Maybe they offer something, they are something Thing, or they were created in a way that they are completely different maybe it isn't like they completely um, reinvented the wheel maybe they didn't completely reinvent the wheel but on the other hand just took different elements that are working on the market maybe merged them or twisted them in some ways that were actually entertaining for the audience and that's how they overcome this market saturation so for example in Voodoo, what they tell us to do as an external studio is to study the different games that are currently working fine in the algorithm. So basically they give us a list of different games that are actually just the top charts of the average casual or hyper casual genre and they tell us like for example they give us five most important examples that are working well in the past week for example 
and they tell us okay now with these five games try to create a brand new mechanic to merge some mechanics to twist the games in some mechanics so that you can create a brand new product but not a hundred percent brand product but a new product that is based on what is already working in the market but you are twisting it or including something new that may attract new users and you may think that it, that is quite obvious but most people they are trying to reinvent the wheel when the wheel is already invented literally all the answers that you are looking for in order to what type of game actually sells which type of game doesn't actually sell is already on the store page so your work is to look for the best selling games try to merge the mechanics of them twist them include some other things and there the game will have a lot of potential to actually succeed of course, in some other cases, if you actually reinvent the wheel a hundred percent and maybe release a brand new mechanic that you can't find in literally any game in any store or it's not super known among the community, of course, for sure, that's going to be a hit game. But sometimes we think that as developers, uh, we have created something completely new. But on the other hand, it was already invented a couple of months ago or it wasn't as good as we thought. Because it's quite complicated to in our own in our room in our own room that we are creating the game to actually anticipate and and define if our game idea is actually good enough or not for the store page. That's also a reason why trying so much with different game genres, merging in different ways, twisting twisting the games in different ways is also super important in order to release a hit game. For example, in Buru with studios that work full-time with them they're expecting one prototype completely published and playable in the google play store every 7 or 12 days so it will be something like 2 2.5 games monthly okay why because we do understand perfectly that one of the keys towards releasing a hit game is releasing a bunch of games not only because you you would let's say mathematically have more chances of releasing a hit game but you will be able to look further into the different statistics that the games may give to you so that you could actually uh, have a deeper knowledge about what is working what doesn't work what does work etc so that for the next game you create you have much more information much more knowledge and therefore much more chances of actually releasing a hit game now we have been talking about actually selling a product to an audience in this case a game but what about if you want to sell your services as a game developer to some platform company whatever actually the example is quite similar okay you don't have to reinvent the wheel because it's already in invented so you have to start listening to people that are actually in the position where you would like to be this means people like me or literally any other content creator that you may find here on youtube or in any other platform because we always have something to tell you and our only intention is that you can find a job, that you can find a company, that you can build a career, that you can succeed overall. So I do already have some videos on my channel that you can start checking, you know, to actually how to get a job, how to sell your services. But I'm going to tell you some pretty, let's say, general keys that you have to know. And that keys are, for example, having a good CV, having a portfolio. And for that, there are tons of templates on the internet so really really take a look at them you don't have to start from scratch you will waste a lot of time and maybe the layout that you chose the design that you chose or literally something could be wrong uh, when it, it shouldn't be because there are a bunch of templates nowadays that can really save you time and you will make sure that everything is correct and then also the thing about building a personal brand and this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to start uploading content every day to youtube that's not the idea the idea is that you can start uploading some devlogs about your game what you are doing who you are what you sell etc and people will start reaching out eventually okay because that may also give you some sponsorships and affiliations so that's more money besides of course some um audience that maybe will not actually purchase or uh, download your games so overall, what you really have to think about is that the wheel is already invented. So you have to really take a look at other videos or information that you can uh, find literally for free on the internet about what other developers are doing, how they are selling their services or their products, and just take those bases and adapt them to your own needs. Don't start completely from scratch. You will waste time. You won't have certainty that it will work. So just start 
doing it right now look for how the wheel currently is working replicate it in your end twisting it merging things etc and then there is where you will succeed yes the market is saturated so only the best ones will succeed i hope you really enjoyed this, this video if you did please subscribe to the channel and leave a like so that i knew that you enjoyed this video and i will upload more similar videos in the near future also, I would love to hear what you think about uh, this topic on the comments down below. Remember, literally nobody has, uh, let's say, the 100% certainty in the things that they say because we aren't good. So I would really love to hear your opinion down below. So see you in the next one. Bye bye.